that we have the appliance downloaded and ready to start it, we need to do uh, a check. We need to check the configuration to make sure that uh, it's all set and okay. Make sure that the console type is set to VNC and the boot priority, you can leave it like this, HDD or CD DVD. And then here you can adjust the number of RAMs. I will give it 32. And then the HDD is the hard drive, the 200 gig. Make sure that you, uh, uh, you upload it here. And then the CD DVD is where your ISO file will go. And then the network, you can, it will come up by default with one adapter. You can increase the number of adapters. That's up to you. I can decrease as I'm only using uh, two. Apply. Okay, my links are connected. Let me just do this quickly. So I will go back to network. I will decrease it to three apply and then here you can just select uh, um, I, I selected this one and then here you can also uh, match this apply okay and then now I can connect this one to the internet side and then this one to the management network side and after doing that, I can start the Epic AM uh, server and then also console, uh, open the VNC. So as you can see, the Epic AM runs on Ubuntu, which is a Linux. So it will go through the set up and then uh, as soon as it's uh, ready we will uh, move forward the initial setup is now complete and let's uh, move forward so i will accept this license it's uh, going to validate the disk throughput Basically, uh, it's asking if we want to create a new cluster or add this host to an existing cluster. We're going to, to create a new one. And read here, it's saying um, you are attempting to run a PKM on a host that does not satisfy the minimum system requirements. Current memory, 16 gig. Current disk, 194 but this is fine because this is just a lab but in production you need to make sure that you meet the requirements let's go ahead and set up so we know we're going to uh, keep this uh, to the default which means no we also going to say no We don't need any villains. The host IP address, as we can see, we are connected to the DHCP, uh, to the internet DHCP. So we all, we have already uh, been uh, assigned this IP address. So we will keep this. We will just add the Google DNS server. We don't need any static route. For the first, uh, for the second uh, interface, because the first interface is this one, the one that has just been assigned the, 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 the IP address from the internet. And the second uh, interface is the one connected to the management side. So for that one, we're going to give it the 172. 
we really don't need but we can just give 100.6 and then the mask is going to be a 24 the default gateway we're going to give 172 16 100 and 10 and um, we don't need all those let me try to remove this okay and let me move on I don't need for the third because we're not going to use it so APKM is going to validate uh, some settings so while doing that I'm going to make a quick search uh, NTP public IP So I'm going to specify for Google let me exit here okay we're going to try that one so we don't need uh, HTTPS proxy we can click next and then I'm going to take my CMD so I will come back here and just skip proxy yes skip and uh, the username admin and you can give it your password next give it your password the password of your choice I don't need this next so now that's where we need to insert the NTP uh, server IP address let me try to ping this one ping 216.239.32.15 okay so this is not going through we need to make sure that we give it um, a proper NTP uh, IP address to say that you try this one 132 163 dot 96 dot and let's go to next so while doing that I will search NCP public IP so as you can see it's uh, it just failed so we need to make sure that we give it um, an IP address that is reachable and let's uh, try this one let me try to ping it here 
okay this one is reachable so we're going to do 216239358.8 and next So let's wait. As you can see, it passed. And then uh, here we don't need a, an IPsec tunnel. We can just say no to use a GRE tunnel. I will leave that to the default. And then now we're ready to proceed with the uh, uh, in initialization of our system. The install process is now complete. Let's try to ping Google. And uh, just to let you know that it took about uh, 45 minutes to process. As you can see, we can ping Google uh, through our switch uh, going to the NAT cloud. So that's good. And the next step is to have access to the web console of the EPIC AM. So we're going to use this IP address 171.92.168.78.204. As you can see, we can uh, click on advanced accept risk and continue and we now in front of the login page of the epic am we can use the username that we set up when we were initializing when we were um, setting up the, the 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 appliance and the password It is successful. It will show you this and the next thing that you can do is to come here and open another browser, open another page, two four one four one four one. So basically, it's asking us to add HTTPS. Advanced. Accept. So this page is showing us the services that Epic AM is still initializing that's why we could not uh, here it's saying that page is not available because task service uh, is in the process of starting so these are the services that APKM is still starting at this time and here we can see running zero some of these services are already running so I think some of these services are not activated by default. So let's go ahead and activate them. So you need to come here, you click on the plus and OK. Click on the plus and OK. You click on the plus and OK. And it will take a little time and it will show uh, how it will start uh, 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 starting that process. Let's uh, do that for all the process that have not started.
this is really important. You need to make sure that the file service is running. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to upload files uh, on your controller. So let's activate it. As you can see, there are many services. I think there are 32 services. Basically, you don't need all the services, but you need uh, at least those scans that are useful. As you can see, these ones are in the process of like unresponsive, but now it's, um, it's running. It's green, running one, starting, starting, and responsive but basically uh, it it looks good uh, most of them are starting let's go ahead and check this client these are the services that are already uh, running i think no the, i think the, uh, these are all the services and some uh, key impo uh, information running yeah the host this is showing you uh, the CPU utilization, the memory utilization, the storage and the running services. The waiting queue, I think uh, there should be nothing there. Yeah, if you come on service, it's services, it's giving you like a, a list of all the services that uh, we have on APKM and some basic um, information uh, regarding those services let's go ahead here and uh, try to refresh it's still uh, loading but that's fine i think we are good in terms of uh, the activation of all our services as you can see all of them are starting now I will see you on the next session. As soon as all the services are up, we will start uh, looking at uh, the web console of APKM and start uh, taking actions. I will see you there. Thank you.